All right, so welcome to Daily Glitter. Happy Thursday. Let's talk. So, as y'all know, I'm very, I'm a very transparent type of person. You know what I'm saying? Very transparent. And over the last couple of days, I've been having these emotions of just, you know, irritation, reflection, just all types of things, right? And I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all. Oh, don't forget to go listen to my podcast because you should. Um, but I've been having this thing where I've been overthinking. And I always tell my mom about this, and I'm I'm a very transparent person. I can separate myself from my job. So separating myself from my job is really not that hard for me at all, actually. Um, hold on. Alexa, play music. Sure, here's a custom mix just for you. All right. And you know me. I always tell y'all that I know I'm the voice of, you know what I'm saying? I'm the voice for God. But one thing about me, two things for sure, is I'm never one to tell y'all that I don't go through things. You know what I'm saying? I ne I'm never one to tell y'all that I'm not. Alexa, turn the music down one notch. I'm not one to tell y'all that I'm perfect and just because I had the, the insight that, you know what I'm saying, I don't be going through shit my damn self, you know what I'm saying? And even though I can prepare y'all for the energy, I still go through that shit myself, you know what I mean? And we might, you know, I think the thing about it is, is the fact of that I'm just, I'm more aware and I'm more tapped in. So therefore, it's like I really shouldn't be tripped out, but I still can because I'm having a human experience. You dig what I'm saying? And what I realized is as I was talking to my homegirl, because I'm I'm very open and honest to tell y'all, like I prepare y'all for the same, for the energy and I still be going through it, having fucking many panic attacks just like anybody else. You dig what I'm saying? And it's funny because today, oh, excuse me, over the last couple of days, I've been really overthinking. And I've been in my head about a lot of shit, stressed out about a lot of shit, just really like, I don't know. Like, I just, and I can't even tell you. Like, I really can't even tell you why. Because when I look at my life, like, to be honest with y'all, I am beyond grateful. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have to worry about much in life. You dig? And... The things that I am being, you know, I am being a, a brat about are really just, you know, me just having brat behavior. Me being Veruca Salt, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to go shopping. Like, I need to go shopping. And one thing about me is, and I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I ain't even one of them people that like, yeah, like, I don't mind going to get like a couple of outfits. But I'm one of the people like, I like to go shopping without a care in the world. And when I say it without a care in the world, like, I like to go to TJ Maxx and then I also want to go to Nordstrom's and go get me a new bag or new shoes. Like, I'm very, like, people be like, you're the most bougie, hoodest person that I know. And I think that's, I mean, that's true because I like what I like. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not big on settling. So it's just like, if I can't get what I want, then I ain't going to get nothing until I can get what I want. And I'm really big on that. You know what I mean? So, like... Me having so much patience to wait for God to give me my opportunities to where I can go buy, you know what I'm saying? The damn near Prada boots that I want. Or I can go buy the G-Mon Chi bag that I really want. Like, I'm just not one person that's going to settle for anything. Like, I'm going to just wait until I can go get it, you know? And I can't even lie to y'all. Over the last couple of days, I've been having a very impatient energy. Like, my Aries energy has been very impatient. And I told my homegirl, I said, hey, I said, you know what I feel like? I feel like my sun sign, and this is for everybody's sun sign, I feel like whatever your sun sign is, that energy from that sun sign has been put on hold. And I was like, hey, man, I feel like my Aries energy been put on hold because as an Aries, like, come on now. I'm going to go get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm real like, I'm going to go get that shit, you know? 
And I ain't gonna have no problem going to get that shit. But it's just like, I felt like that energy has been put on hold because I've had to embody all the other elements within myself, such as the water, the emotions, the earth of the grounding and the air of the logic. So I felt like the fire element of me was not there. And I just was getting to this point and it's just like, I think I just had like this moment of, of just frustration with God. Like, I want to go shopping. I want to go get my $500 hair. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to go do these things and I don't want to have to worry about nothing. So it's just like, where is the opportunity and where are the resources? You see what I'm saying? Like, I felt like I had already taken care of bills. I felt like I had already taken care of everything. So it's just like, I'm ready for the fun part. Like, I don't know. I already did the hard part. Like, I don't worry about the normal shit other people worry about. And that's, that's a blessing for me. You see what I'm saying? And as I'm having this, this, you know, basically this Veruca Salt moment, they'll give it to me now. I'm going back and I'm watching a lot of my videos and I'm sitting there in so much awe and so much gratitude where it's just like, bitch, look where you are. Look what you've done. Look what you accomplished. Like you really think you ain't been doing nothing, but look, look what you've done to have embodied, to have embodied other energies has probably been your best accomplishment. If you look at my chart, bitch, I'm so much of a cardinal of a go, 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 go. You'll be like, I don't see how you ain't lost your mind yet. Hell, I don't know either, but I haven't. And I just feel like God is like, you don't even realize you need to take a moment to just look like, look what you've completed. Look what you've done. And I keep hearing that Drake song. Look what you've done. Look what you've done for me. Yeah. Like, my soul, my our souls are being are being brought down, and I feel like our souls can even peep our our. Thank you. Our souls can peep our. It, our souls can peep our excitement. Our souls can peep all these things, and I feel like our souls are sending us like ETA updates of like, oh, I'll be here at this time. I'll be here at that time. And, I'll be here at that time. Like, don't worry. Like, I'll be there. And then it's just like, you know, it's like our inner tribes are having that. Like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And, and, and the higher self is like, hey, bro, like, I told you I'll be there at 8 o'clock. Like, I can't get there no faster. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on the plane. Like, I can't make the pilot do whatever. It's just like, and in the meantime of them sending these updates, they're, send, they're sending all these things, like, all these accomplishments that we've done over the past six months and i'm just say six months because you know six months will change your life and our our, our I, can, I can hear my my heart self saying like look what you've accomplished look what's been done look what you've done so it's just like right now is the time to where you should be in bliss you should be in happiness you should be you should be in so much gratitude right now because look what you've done Look all that you've created. Like, seriously, have you had time? Are you even taking the time to admire the things that you have done? And what I realized is Libra season, going back to the beginning, the whole thing was about admiration. Have you taken time to admire yourself? Have you taken time to admire the things that you have completed? Have you just taken the time to do that? And I just feel like, no, I haven't. I haven't really, I guess, wrapped my head around what exactly I've completed and how far I've come along. Like, I guess I haven't wrapped my head around it. One day I woke up and my followers was at 3,000 on TikTok. Now I look at that shit at like 19K. Like, I'm almost close to like a million likes. Like, <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on here? Like, I think, I think I'm just having these like, oh, wow. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And because I have so much cardinal in my chart, I'm very hard on myself. Like, I don't see my, I don't see my, 
I don't see my my hard work like everybody else see my hard work. You know what I'm saying? Like most people be like, bro, like you really taking off on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it ain't it ain't how I see it. You know what I mean? And I don't know if anybody else has that problem. But the way this energy is going, it's going in a way of just like, you need to look what you've done. You need to look at what you've actually created. You need to really look and see. And it's funny because earlier this week, I made a video about how the third eye was being like, you know, that, that uh, I felt God was like licking our, um, licking his thumb and clearing off our third eye so we could really see things from a higher perspective. Because if we were seeing things from a higher perspective, we would have realized that you've done a lot of things on your list already. But you're so busy trying to, I guess you're trying, you're trying to see the end result that you're not even, you're not even taking time to appreciate the journey. Like, look what you've done. And I can just, he, I keep hearing, I just keep hearing that. Look what you've done. I just look what you've done. You don't even realize, like, look all the things you've completed. And as I'm having this realization of the fact that, that look what I've done, I've also come to the conclusion of, damn, I don't got to get my life together no more. I don't got to get my life together no more. This is time for upgrade. See, I spent my whole, I spent my whole year being so hard on myself and going so hard for myself that I realized that this whole year I was getting my life together. This was actually, this was the actually get, this is what getting your life together looks like. Getting your life together means that you get your mind right for things and you get your soul prepared for things and you allow your body to guide you somewhere because to get things physically, that's honestly the last step. Before you get anything, you actually have to mentally prepare for it. You have to spiritually prepare for it. Then you get it. And so I'm sitting over here and I'm looking at my body and I'm just like, damn, I'm like, I spiritually had to get here first. This happened last. <laughs> I had to get my mind right on the foods that actually listening to my body and what my body wanted to eat. I had to get my spirit right of, of not eating out of emotion or not eating out of stress and not, you know what I'm saying? Like not smoking so damn much that it, all I do is just smoke and eat. Like I've had to get my mind prepared for that. If you knew, if you, if you know me personally, you watch me, you know, I used to be a whole weed head, baby. Smoke weed, smoke weed every day. We talking about, we bitches smoke good gas every day, all day. We high as fuck, all day, at work, all that shit. I don't do that shit no more. Now, do I still smoke weed? Hell yeah. But not like how I used to. I was smoking because I was trying to escape from some shit. I was doing shit because I was trying to escape from some shit. Get out of my head. Get out my mind. Get folks out my mind. Ignore them. And try to ignore their presence. Try to ignore their existence. Try to ignore so many things that I would have never thought in a million years that I would have got to this point now where a bitch can smoke out of enjoyment instead of smoking because I've had a long day. Smoking because smoking because I want to create some possibilities. I want to I wanna vibe. I don't just want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to release nothing. I don't need to release stress. I don't need to release problems. I don't need to do nothing. I'm smoking for enjoyment now. That's a very powerful place to be at that a lot of people really don't understand. When you do things to, to relieve stress, it never it doesn't become sacred anymore. It loses intimacy. And today, I think I just had this realization of just like, I don't need to get my life together no more. It's time to upgrade my life. I don't need to worry about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to worry about who, what, when, where, how. I done already did that. So everything from now is an upgrade. All the men, all the men that I, you know, that I, I will, I guess, decide to engage with now. Because y'all know, I was ignoring the male population for the longest. All the men that I decide to engage with now is just like... They're going to be an upgrade from what I used to be with. 
all the friends that I have, they're an upgrade from what I used to have. <laughs> Damn, it's like, this is all an upgrade. And I realized with this upgrade, it comes with investing. And you have to know when to invest and when to not. And I realized that because as I had this realization of just like, yeah, I'm about to upgrade. I think I had this thing about like, you know, I'm about to go back in grind mode. And when I go in grind mode, I don't want to talk. I don't want to kick it. I don't want to do shit. I got to focus. I don't want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? And I realized that I was only able to do that last year because I was surrounded by so many people that really were hitting on shit that that was the only way to fucking succeed and get, you know, get on my shit was to shut people out. You know what I mean? was to go ghost on them and it was easier to go ghost on people that really ain't for you because of the fact that it's just like you don't add no value to my life anyway so therefore it's just like going ghost on you really don't mean shit but when I got people that actually care for me and invest in me mind body and soul it's just like I can't go ghost on them like that like you can't just do all that and going ghost and shutting people out that's a defense mechanism because you feel like they're going to mess some shit up for you. And it's just like, if somebody's investing in you, you don't just shut them out. And I realized that Scorpio season has that where like, if you decide to ghost people and dip out on them, do you really fuck with them? Do you really care for them like you think you do? Now, we all need time and space where we don't want to talk and stuff like that. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about where you just like no explanation, no nothing. You just dip like you don't do people like that, that you really care about, that you really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, have you gathered the enough motion, emotional maturity to say like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I just need to focus real quick. You know what I'm saying? I might be a little distant, but, you know, I'm alive and I'll just, you know, I'll reach back out to you when I can. And, you know, when I when I'm feeling the energy to actually be able to talk to somebody. Have you honestly had that type of conversation with somebody? A lot of us haven't. A lot of us just go ghost on people and then they, they show their true colors of, oh, that bitch fake and that's why I don't fuck with you. But in reality, it was just triggering their abandonment issues. See, we moving away from so much codependency. So now I feel like the fight is going to be between what is codependent and what is not. See, to have an emotional, mature conversation with somebody about something that you're going through, that's that in itself shows maturity. That shows independence. Because one, I don't need to bring you down in what I got going on. That's one. And two, I don't need you feeling like I'm shutting you out because of something you did. That's something that's just like, I felt good. I felt really good saying that. You know what I'm saying? I felt good telling my homegirl that. And I already knew it wasn't going to be no bullshit. But the fact that she was just like, it's okay. I understand. She was like, everything's okay. You you good. Everything good. I know you about to. I know whatever you cooking up. I know you cooking up something big. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm proud of you. And. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 feeling that energy as well. Like we finally are coming to this position of where it's just like no more stagnancy. And this is when you have to prepare yourself to continue life with people. You know, it go from y'all talking every day to now y'all might talk every couple of weeks. This is the part of your life where you know what I'm saying? One person has a baby. Another person gets married. Another person does this. And it's just like, this is going to, this is a, this is about to be a real test for a lot of y'all relationships. Some of y'all friendships ain't going to make it. They was just skimming by, but see, they lack that. They lack that emotional intimacy. And to allow somebody to go and do their journey and have their human experience and not take it personal, that's emotional maturity. That's emotional intimacy. That's the level that a lot of people don't reach. And I just realized that today. It's time to upgrade, guys. It's time to, it's time to really like upgrade parts of yourself. So 
I do feel that there are some projects that a lot of you guys have started that you need to go ahead and just go back to them. There's some things a lot of y'all started earlier this year and late last year. I think it's time for you to pick that cup up again. I think it's time for you to go ahead and take that walk again. I think it's time. I do. I think that connections are going to pick up and... I just think like as people are getting into relationships and people are getting out of relationships and people are going to going into this job and going into that job, things are about to just take off. And it's just like this is to where this is where the relationships are either going to sink or swim in Scorpio season. And if y'all relationship don't make it in Scorpio season, don't rekindle that shit. Leave that shit where it is. I mean it. If the relationship don't make it through Scorpio season, don't rekindle that shit. Because see that that you seeing that person's soul, you seeing that person's soul for who they are, and I'm sure I promise you, ain't nothing gonna change after this season. I promise you that. I put money on that. There's been a lot of deja vu moments that have been happening. Deja vu moments are confirmation you on the right path. I just really had this epiphany. I think a lot of us were so focused on getting our lives together that we just really, we really just lost it. We felt like we always gonna have to be in this mode of like, I gotta get my life together, I gotta get my life together, I gotta get my life together. Whole time, bitch, life been together. Now it's time to build from this point. Now you, now it ain't even about you getting your life together. Now it's time to build the life. You already got the life together. Don't you feel more confident? Don't you feel more happy? Don't you feel more at peace? Don't you feel that? That's that's getting your life together. If you feeling more at peace, you feeling more happy, you feeling more grounded, you feeling more excited, you life together. You you know what I'm saying? You smiling more. You you you're not you're not coping with shit. You're not codependent on shit like. This to me would be your life. This this to me is, is when the life is actually together. Now it's time to build it. Now it's time to build the life that you deserve. Now it's time. And the reason why I say that is because Jupiter is going into Pisces next week. And I just got this feeling that, like, from that time until when it goes back into Aries, if you ain't, if you ain't allowing your your soul to make your dreams come true, you wasting the time that you've already spent. You are wasting the time that you spent healing all these damn months. You wasting your motherfucking time. Now, if you got time to waste, that's cool. But one of my one of my things I always say is, time is an illusion, but baby, we don't got time to waste. And that's one thing I don't have time to do. I don't got time to waste. I don't got time to waste. I don't got time to play with you. Like when I get in grind mode, I don't want to talk. I got shit to do. When I need, when I gotta go make me some money, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I gotta go make me some money. I can't talk. You not gonna make me no money, so I can't talk to you right now. You see what I'm saying? And I just feel like this energy today, like I just, I really had this epiphany and I came here because I washed my hair. And as I washed my hair, I was sitting in there and I just was like, I was getting frustrated. You know what I'm saying? I just like, I just started crying. And then it's like, I started crying. And then I realized like, wait, why are you crying? And I, cause I, I was like, I gotta get my life together. And something clicked like, get your life together. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Your life is already together. You mean you wanna upgrade? <laughs> then say that. <laughs> Stop saying get your life together. Cause that's why you feel like you're in the same cycle. You, you, you keep saying you need to get your life together and you talking about getting your life together and, and 
you tell me, you wake up every day saying how blessed and how happy you are. So what part of your life is not together? You listen to your inner child more. You're, you're happy in what you do. You're happy in who you talk to. You're happy in your energy. So what more of your life do you need to get together? It seems like you want to upgrade it, right? And I said, you know what? You're absolutely fucking right. You're absolutely fucking right. I told God, I said, bring me a man that's going to help me upgrade. I don't need no man to help me get my life together. <laughs> did that. I did that. I got my life together. I need a man that's going to help me upgrade my life now. You know? While I'm using my resources to put myself in a better position, I just want him to just take care of everything else. Honestly. If I could just be honest with y'all. As I'm using all the money that I need to, you know, upgrade myself, shit. He cover me while I upgrade myself. You know, that's what I said I wanted. I don't need nobody to help me be a better me. I already did that. I want to I wanna be with somebody that wants to upgrade. I want to be around friends that want to upgrade. I want clients around me that want to upgrade. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to upgrade. Like, no, for real. Like, I thought about that. I don't want nobody that heal and... Uh -uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I want somebody that's ready to upgrade. That they that they got they stuff together, mind, body, and soul. That they that they align to where they, you know what I'm saying? They've aligned to where they see themselves to be. You know what I'm saying? That they they're resist they're 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 on the path of least resistance. On the path of least resistance is on being on the path to upgrade. I want to upgrade. And I keep that 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 word is on my spirit so so strong of upgrade. Stop saying you need to get your life together. Your life is together. If you if you align with me and you you really been on this journey with me, you pass you're past getting your shit together. You don't got your shit together because now you're getting your shit together was for you to become more aware of where you were having things fucked up. So now you have the awareness to find yourself in and out of fucked up situations. So now it's like it's time to upgrade. It's time to upgrade, baby. You see yourself in this, you see yourself in that, it's time to upgrade it. Let's go. We don't have time for that no more. I don't need to get my life together. My life is fine. I used to weigh 200 and like 20 something pounds. Bitch. I lost 40 to 50 pounds. Follow what my body wanted. Eating what my body wanted. That's an upgrade. Learning, learning myself. Learning what I like, what I didn't like, what was best for me, what wasn't best for me. That's an upgrade. I became abstinent because my sexual energy was very powerful and sacred. That's an upgrade. I stopped dating bum ass niggas. Upgrade. I stopped dating men that were egotistic. Upgrade. The 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 thing about like I stopped working jobs that just was meaningless. I got my own business. I started popping my shit. Upgrade. These are all upgrades. This is the season of upgrade. And it's funny because the verse of the day. Hold on. The verse of the day is from Hebrew. No. Oh, damn. It's from Romans 155 15 5 as i said uh 155 was a very important number it says and may god the source of patience and encouragement enable you to have the same point of view amongst yourself by following the example of jesus christ it says please others not yourself we who are strong in the faith ought to be uh, ought to be ought to help the weak to carry their burdens we should not please ourselves instead we should all please other believers from for their own goods in order to build them up in faith 
For Christ did not please himself. Instead, as the scripture says, the insults which are hauled that you have fallen on me. Everything written in the scriptures was written to teach us in order that we might have hope through the patience and encouragement which the scriptures gives us. And may God, the source of patience and encouragement, enable you to have the same point of view amongst yourself by following the example of Jesus Christ, so that all you together may praise with one voice in, in God and the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. This says, this gives me upgrade. The gospel to the Gentiles says, accept one another then for, then for the glory of God as Christ has accepted you. For I tell you that Christ's life of service was on the behalf of the Jews to show that God is faithful to make his promises to their ancestors come true. And to enable even the Gentiles to praise God for his mercy as the scripture says. And so I will praise you among the Gentiles. I will sing praise to you. Again, it says, rejoice Gentiles with God's, with God's people. And, and again, praise the Lord, all Gentiles. Praise him, all people. And again, Isaiah says, a descendant of, G of Jesse will, will appear. I think he meant Jesus, but okay. A descendant of Jesse will appear. He will come to rule the Gentiles and they will put them hope, their hope in him. May God, the source of hope, fill, fill you with all joy and peace by means of your faith in him so that your hope will continue to grow by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. And I'm telling you, that, that's an upgrade. Thank you for confirmation. That's an upgrade. What does angel number 504 mean? And it's funny because I channeled that song by, um, I, it's a, I, it's the iCarly song. Leave it, leave it, uh, leave it all to me. The words are, I know you see somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. Live life, breathe air, and I know somehow we're going to get there and feel so wonderful. It's all for real. I'm telling you just how I feel. Remember I told you about how y'all feel? So wake up the members of my nation. It's your time to be. There's no chance unless... There's no chance unless you take one and the time to see the brighter side of every situation. Some things are meant to be. So give it. So give your best and leave the rest to me. Leave it all to me. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday I watched Frozen and I was making my food or whatever. And that song came to my head when she was like, um, it's that Frozen song when she was like, um, hold on, what's that Frozen song I found yesterday? For the first time in forever that that song too for the first time in forever and the angel number 504 is a message to listen to your intuitive feelings and the guidance from the angels in regards to changes it says it's from your guardian angels that the effort you are putting in today is the is the light of tomorrow. Things of change, upgrades. God, I, God, I'm telling you, I just hear God keep saying upgrades. These are upgrades. They keep telling them upgrades, 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 upgrades. It's an upgrade. I'm like, okay. He like, he like, you know, when you get a new phone. I'm like, yeah. He like, yeah. He like, you know, when you get a new phone every year and I'm like, yeah, he like, yeah, that's an upgrade. He said things are upgrading. And it's funny because I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on my, um, I'm waiting on my phone. They talking about his back ordered and shit, but it's funny how he was like, you know, when a new phone is released, everybody want it. And he's like, everybody has to wait. And then, and then there are some people that they have to wait on the date so they can upgrade. He says, that's what's happening. A lot of you guys have just been waiting on the date to upgrade and that date is here to upgrade. And it's crazy. I told my homegirl, I said, bro, I've been hearing train horns loud and I ain't heard no train horn in months. Like for real, like I ain't heard no train horn like that in months. And I've been hearing train horns like a mug. So it definitely gave me like, oh yeah, it's here. And it reminds me of that Pisces reading that I had did telling them about the train. And they were saying that this was the blue line to get to Rome or whatever from Atlanta. And that's what I feel like. I feel like the train, my nose is itching. The train is here and it's time for upgrade because of Neptune. So <sighs> this was just a lot of little downloads that I had in my head. I just wanted to get them out. So I love you guys. Thank you.